It's true that uh, humans no longer have the privilege of producing and applying knowledge. There are different types of knowledge with different degrees of generality, validity, or veracity. Uh, without going into technical details, there is an important distinction between empirical knowledge that is produced through a learning process and used by humans and AI systems and scientific and technical knowledge. Empirical knowledge is based on data, is data-based, as we say. We do not understand exactly how it is generated. For example, when we walk, we talk, our brains solve a very hard uh, computational problem, but we don't understand exactly how. Similarly, for a neural network that separates images of cats and dogs, after a long learning process, uh, we don't understand how it works. It learns in the same way that a child learns to do this without understanding how it is done. Now, uh, on the contrary, scientific and technical knowledge is explainable because it is based on the use of mathematical models. Uh, for instance, uh, all the theories in physics, and mechanics, electricity rely on mathematical models, and we trust the scientific and technical knowledge. Uh, we can build, uh, for instance, bridges that will not collapse for centuries. On the contrary, I said, as I said, the trust in knowledge produced by AI is a matter of uh, great debate now. However, I believe that there is a very interesting complementarity between uh, machines and humans in the production of, of knowledge, and this should be underlined. Machines can compute fast and precisely, and can analyze problems with a huge number of parameters, while humans can be creative and exhibit a remarkable situational awareness. So uh, what we have today, we have uh, machines driven by experts, and these machines include AI systems, supercomputers, then can analyze complex phenomena and systems. And uh, uh, in that manner, we can improve our understanding and uh, develop a new knowledge in many areas, such as uh, economics and finance, earth sciences, for instance, in uh, meteorology and uh, earthquake uh, uh, prediction, and medicine. Uh, so uh, this leads, in fact, to a new kind of science, that would allow predictability without understanding in depth uh, the studied systems and phenomena. Now, an important question is whether this is good or bad. So to predict without understanding. And uh, I think that time will tell us about that.